Hi everyone, I'm the Tax Pro, and today we are going to talk about doing a delayed credit in QuickBooks Online. So delayed credit is very similar to a credit memo. The only difference is a credit memo is going to hit that client's account at the time that you create the credit memo, whereas a delayed credit can be timed in the future. So why would you want to do a delayed credit versus a credit memo? It's kind of a weird concept, right? A delayed credit you can do um, if you want to allow the client to maybe have this credit but apply it to future purchases instead of past purchases. Okay, so maybe we want that client to have a credit and we've given them this credit because they weren't happy with the quality of something or there was something wrong with their order and they're not happy with it. And so in order to have good customer service, we went ahead and said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and give you a credit. Um, but the credit's not going to be applied to purchases this month. You can apply it to purchases next month forward. Okay. And so in that case, we would do a delayed credit versus a credit memo, because if we do a credit memo, we would have that credit memo. We're in September. So let's say we do a credit memo today. We'd have a credit memo sitting on the statement for the month of September. Whereas if we do a delayed credit, and we push that credit into October, we would have that credit sitting on their statement in October, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do a delayed credit. We are on the dashboard here. You're going to click plus new and then go to delayed credit. We're going to select a customer and then we're going to pick a delayed credit date. So we're in September right now, but I want this credit to only be valid October moving forward. I'm going to give them the date of October 16th. Okay, I'm going to say this credit's going to be available starting October 16th. I can do a reference number here. You don't have to have a reference number if you don't want to. And then I'm going to reference the product or the service that I'm talking about. So I'm going to say sales. I'm going to give them a $200 credit um, description is going to be, you know, customer satisfaction. Maybe they weren't happy with something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and issue this delayed credit for October. Now, this will not show up on this client's statement for September and reduce that client's balance in September unless I take this credit and apply it to a prior invoice, okay? So one of the misunderstandings with delayed credits is that this will not ever affect a prior month's balance. It could potentially affect a prior month's balance if you go in and apply this delayed credit to a prior period's invoice, okay? So let me repeat that. This delayed credit is dated for October, which means this delayed credit should not affect the balance of prior periods, such as September. But if I take this delayed credit, even though it is dated for October, and I apply it to a September invoice, it will reduce the balance for September, okay? So you can actually cause this delayed credit to influence a balance for an earlier period if you manually apply it to a prior period invoice, okay? So with the delayed credit, you can save in new or save and close. I'm gonna go ahead and close. And then, we can see this delayed credit within this client's books. So right here, we have this $200 delayed credit. Now, one thing I want to mention is you'll notice that Unlimited Company has an open balance, okay? This credit did not change the company's open balance because it has not been applied we would have to manually apply this delayed credit to the open balance 
in order for this open balance to be reduced because this open balance is showing us the balance as of September, right? Um, so your delayed credit will not affect the open balance of prior periods. Now you can go ahead and do a delayed charge from your new transaction drop-down menu right here, but you cannot do a delayed credit from this menu. A little bit different than a lot of the transactions for customers within QuickBooks Online. Most of them you can navigate to from the plus new button or from this new transaction button. The delayed credit is from the plus new button, okay? So don't go try to find it from this new transaction button. A little bit different than some of your other transactions. Um, so that is it for today. That is how you do a delayed credit. Remember, if you do not apply it to prior periods, it will not affect the balance of those prior periods, but you can manually apply this delayed credit to a prior period invoice, which will cause that balance to change. And so I will see you guys next time and um, I hope you have a great day.